the town of Dunlow, Pennsylvania, there's a single mother of five. Yep, I think that's good here. I'm going to touch up a little bit right here. Not only that, she's giving back to a great mission, and it all started with pretzels. About 12 years ago, we were adopting our son Marcus, and we were looking for a way to, to provide the money for that. And so I told my girls, I had four girls at the time, and I said, be praying about how God wants to provide money for our baby. My oldest daughter, Sarah, she said, Mom, we're going to go door-to-door -door selling chocolate-covered peanut butter and caramel pretzels. We went on that endeavor one afternoon, sold out very quickly, and raised all the money to adopt Marcus, and so people affectionately called him for years the chocolate-covered pretzel baby. Now, years later, Heidi and her kids have made this adventure an actual business called Sarah's Gourmet Pretzels. They have about seven staple flavors, and every month they feature a new one. My, my philosophy is keep the pretzels chunky. You know, they need to be nice and full with lots of toppings and big. Watch out, Marcus. Ah! <laughs> we don't use machines. It's, it's all done by hand, and we have, we have high quality control standards. What started as a basic concept on their kitchen table has turned into an official pretzel production facility that was once a two-car garage. Heidi has grown this business with the help of her kids. Very good. All right, thank you. That's been fun and challenging and frustrating and, and everything all in one. So uh, they're a blessing, you know, and they give me grace when I get stressed. That's for Ella. Ella, there's another one if you need it, but you're not going to get through that tray. Uh, but we'll sit down sometimes and have family meetings and reevaluate. Okay, what are we doing good? What aren't we? So that we can balance the pretzel business with family life and keep our priorities in order. It all goes back to Heidi's mission of wanting to give back. I, I just have a burden on my heart to, to help people who don't have a voice. And children are some of the people who don't have a voice at all, for sure. She's working with an organization called Refuge Texas. They're actually partnering with us to help abolish uh, child trafficking in America. What sets them apart is they understand that children going through this often need years of therapy to get restored to enjoy life. And so they provide a home setting with the therapeutic services they need, like um, horse therapy, art therapy. And they take in girls age 4 to 18 from our country who have been rescued out of trafficking to give them a safe place to heal. It not only helped Heidi care for her kids as a single mom, but it fueled a newfound passion and a way to be part of a much bigger purpose.